Hey guys, Daniel Carmi here for another episode of Minecraft Law, Listen and Watch. So, I'm going to start off this episode with about 10 minutes worth of AFKing at the mob trap and see how efficient it is, because I only made it in the last episode, so I really want to get a good test, so this is pretty much exactly 10 minutes, and I already have a little bit of lag, so I'm going to close the top, stop them from walking, press my magic button, and they should suffocate for just enough that they're going to have one health left or a half heart. I have a few casualties, but the majority of them are alive. So now let's see how much XP I'm going to get from these. Alright, so seems to be about five, about seven or eight full levels of experience for every ten minutes, which is not too bad. I made a chest down here with all the stuff I'm going to need for the trap and where I put all the loot. So, this episode, what I'm planning on doing is giving my entire house, my entire base, a much needed facelift, basically. Take all the stone, mine it all out for the entire place. Um, all the cobblestone, smelt it, turn it into bricks, and change the entire city's cobblestone to bricks, to smooth brick, and I think that's going to look pretty cool. Um, the, the most challenging part about that is actually not going to be the city itself, but probably the walls around the city, because those took pretty long to make, even with MC Edit, it took long, if you watch the first few episodes. Um, so, but... I'm gonna be, I'm going to be, uh, doing the, the, what's it called? I'm gonna be replacing it with stone without MC Edit, obviously, because I don't have, I'm past the first few episodes already, so, I think it's gonna be nice, and also since now I have a continuous supply of bones, I can make a, a more efficient tree farm, or actually, a somewhat efficient tree farm, uh, and let's see if I have any slimes. I don't hear any. And that's because there aren't any. And since this is a slime chunk, I might actually make this multi-layered multi by making uh, another layer of slime spawning area below this. And so let's go upstairs and I'm gonna get started on the basics. Alright, so... For the enchantment room, I'm going to need bookcases, and for bookcases, I'm going to need reed. So I took some of the reeds over there, and I was farming them for a while, uh, off screen. So here I have some reeds starting to grow, and I'm going to turn these reeds into books, which I'm into paper, which I'm, gonna, I'm going to turn into books, and turn that into bookcases, and I'm going to use that 
for my enchantment room because I want to make a nice pickaxe, preferably with efficiency and unbreaking. Uh, and I'm going to take all the cobble I have and I'm going to start smelting it. So each stack will need 8 coal. Did I do that backwards? I haven't made a backwards furnace mistake like that in quite some time. So I want to make as much smooth stone as I can because I want to turn the smooth stone into stone brick which is fairly obvious. So I'm also going to make more furnaces. I need one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to fill up with the rest with five more furnaces. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 And five furnaces. And I'm also probably going to have to go on a, on a caving run or a mining run and get some more coal because after this I'm going to have a fairly low supply of coal. So, and I'm also going to have to uh, get some stone. But the thing is I don't really need to get any stone because all the stone in this, uh, in the village that I'm going to replace with smooth stone, it actually, uh, if you don't include the coal, Every cobblestone is worth one smooth stone if you just instantly smelt it because every cobblestone will turn into uh, a smooth stone. One cobblestone equals one smooth stone when you smelt it and four smooth stone is four stone brick. So really they're kind of the same which means that if I mine out the entire city worth of stone I will gu I, I'm guaranteed to have enough to replace the entire city of stone brick. So I'm going to smelt these and let's see how many uh, actually let me check on my reed farm see probably nothing grew yet no and I'm gonna see how much how many bookcases I can make with this and then I'm going to get started on let's see Crap, I made sugar and I didn't want that. So now I think I need to triple it up like this to make books. One, two, three, four. And that's 16 books. And I wonder how many book cases I can make with that. Uh, not that much. Alright, five. Not too good, but not too bad either. So, I'm going to start on this. Alright, five bookcases is not the worst start in the world. So, let's see. I also have some smooth stone. And let me take the stone from the furnaces. Because I also want to make the... The enchantment room now and I'm gonna start with that with stone bricks because I, I'm not gonna build it with cobblestone just to take it away take it down sooner uh, so I might as well just start with stone bricks on that one so let's see I have that would be two stacks Did I make buttons? I think I made one button. Or maybe I had that from before. I don't know. Uh, and I accidentally made some pressure plates. Oh well. So I'm going to get started on my enchantment room. And I'm also going to need some obsidian. I need four and I have three. So I think I'm going to make myself a diamond pickaxe and just make one in, in, the, in the cave or something. Because I don't want to spend all my time on on making a farm for it I'm just gonna put one bucket down and I'm also going to need two diamonds and a book uh, in hindsight oh I have one book left over perfect so I'm going to mine this and replace the floor with smooth brick and I think it looks much cooler and then I think the floor under that I'm gonna make it log 
like a uh, trimming of smooth brick and then log on top of that. I don't know how to describe it, but hopefully it's going to look pretty cool. And then I want to make a pagoda style roof, like a, like almost like a cone, if you know what I mean. Uh, not a cone, like a, like a pyramid, but that it also has a overhang because that looks pretty cool. So, I really like the look of stone brick, especially as opposed to cowl. But I think that when I finish, uh, giving my entire city the facelift, or at least that's what I'm gonna call it because it's gonna make it look cooler. Uh, I think that. I'm going to keep the gravel. I'm not going to get rid of the gravel because for for two reasons. First of all, I actually like the look of gravel as paths uh because it's it and second of all, that's really the only thing you can use gravel for and I'm kind of a Minecraft hoarder, so I can't really throw out any of the any of the gravel. Uh so I don't I need to put it to use. Let's see. Do I have wood on me? Yes, I do. And I purposely made this the right size for an enchantment room. So I'm already starting to get a nice scheme going here. Let me actually go take a nap. I and uh, I'm actually gonna go straight ahead for the for the what's it called a uh, full a uh, full enchantment room completely surrounded with bookcases because uh wait do I have a bucket on me no but I could make one and I also have a bucket downstairs which I don't want to waste and I'm going to need a diamond pickaxe and the reason I want efficiency and unbreaking is because efficiency makes you mine fast and unbreaking makes the pick last longer. So if it lasts long and it's fast, it's going to be really cool because then I can just basically go to work on the walls and everything. And I don't need to worry about uh, little stuff breaking down. So I have a bucket of lava downstairs at my mob farm. So I'm going to use that bucket of lava and normally what I do is I use that to clear the mobs but I'm just gonna find another lava spring somewhere and use that to clear the mobs and also while I'm down there I'm gonna gather some more experience I wanna get at least 30 before I enchant my first thing because uh... oh perfect I have lava right there so you know what I might as well yeah that's where I'm gonna make the obsidian I need four and uh, two diamond and a book for an enchantment table. So that's how I'm going to make it. Let me open that. Let's see, do I have any? Or I don't think you, they spawn when you're far away. So I'm going to take the bucket of lava, shut off the trap, and go make myself a single piece of obsidian I don't remember where I got those obsidian from beforehand I think I might have found them somewhere like in a chest or something I'm not sure so let me perfect and now I'm gonna light this up I'm gonna take you because you are the last piece I need and if I had efficiency and unbreaking, then this would actually be going much faster. So I have my piece of obsidian that I wanted. Now I'm going to go put the water back and pick up the lava so the trap doesn't shut off anymore. And I have the last piece of obsidian and a book and I have diamonds upstairs and I'm gonna go ahead and make an enchantment table I think what I'm going to do is just uh, make a montage of when I'm mining the or fixing up the city I'm probably just gonna make a montage or a sped up clip 
of one wall or so and then the rest I'm going to do off camera because each time because I first of all I don't want to have make an, an hour episode of just sped up and second of all it also increases the time it takes me to upload it to YouTube and render it if it's a lot of clips in it so I'm going to try to cut down on that so actually you know what I might just use 23 uh, 23 levels for my first enchantment and I'm not going to get something that good but I mean, it's better than most people do. Most people just start with, like, level 5 or something. So, I'm going to need all my obsidian. I'm going to need 2 diamond. And, so, if I remember correctly, it's like this. And then the diamonds in the corners. And, I was right, enchantment table. And I think an enchantment table is a non-solid block, which means light can pass through it. And if it can, then eventually I'm going to put a piece of glowstone under the enchantment table. So that way the entire thing is lit and there's actually you, no visible lighting on the inside. So, let's see. Yep, it works. I mean, that was a stupid test because it obviously works, but... first few bookcases and letters are flying and now I should get already some better levels but I'm gonna wait till I get more till my sugar cane grows until I make a few higher level enchantments and I don't know if I sh what I should make the outside uh, I'm probably just gonna make it wood like that and go all the way around and that's probably going to look the best. And for the ceiling, I'm probably going to use more stone brick. So, let me go back. I'll I'll cut this out and I'll come back when my when I have enough sugar cane to make some more cool stuff. All right, so it's fully grown. I've harvested a full uh level of sugar cane multiple times already. And I should have enough to make level 20 or 30 and up enchantments because I don't really need it to go all the way up just yet. All I need is to at least level 30 or maybe I'll just stick it at 23. I'm kind of indecisive about that part. So I need paper. So that will give me paper that will give me paper I want all the paper almost over two stacks already which is nice and this should be all the paper possible now I need to turn the paper into books And to be honest, I think the crafting recipe for a book should be paper in the middle and a leather on top and leather ab uh, and leather above, because that makes more sense. Or maybe you just put three paper in a line and you get a uh, 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 what's it called a paperback paper. And then if you put leather on, on each side of a paperback paper, you get a hardback uh, paperback book. You get a hardback book, and then I don't know. And then you can use only hardback books for crap for for enchantment tables or something along that along those lines just some ideas and I have 45 and let's see how many lo oh and all my stuff is finished smelting so I will be collecting all of this and I think the last one is gonna have a, one or two pieces of coal left if I did the right calculations oh no it actually has a piece of stone left of cobble so I'm gonna put away all of the stone and stone bricks and I'm gonna craft them into stone bricks later but for now oops for now I'm just gonna take all of this and put this away and do I have wood on me Oh god, I'm running out of wood. I should really get to making 
uh, tree farm. I'm actually completely out of wood now. Oh well. I'll make a tree farm next episode probably. Put that. Put that. Put that. We'll make 11 bookcases. 14. 15 bookcases. Not bad. I think there'll be enough for the bottom ring around the bottom of it which will probably give me up to level 30 enchantments I think that's the way it works at the bottom ring gets you to level 30 and the top ring gets, gets you to level 50 so bottom bottom ring complete and now I'm gonna make as much as I can of the top ring and let's see what I'm getting up to level 26 so far 21 let's see 15 17 22 23 what did I get unbreaking 3 and fortune 1 not bad the unbreaking 3 I'm more happy about but the fortune not so much but I guess that means that when I mine with this actually that's not bad because I can just mine a lot of stone with this and I'll get it as stone and not cobblestone and then I don't need to smelt it to get um, I don't need to smelt it to get uh, stone brick so I guess that could help but I would have preferred efficiency but what can you do you get what you get and you don't get upset so let's see if I can s change all of my stone into stone bricks and then I'll see how much stone bricks I actually have okay so let me just do a little example if I break it with this what why did it drop stone it is fortune that sucks I don't know why that works why that works as it does let's see if I break grass with this and it drops dirt not grass I don't know why I mean it is a fortune pick if you could tell me in the comments why that is that's actually really disappointing so the fortune is pretty much useless I'm actually really surprised why is that so if you can tell me in the comments why that is I'm sure there's something really obvious that I'm missing uh wow that sucks so I guess I can't use it for fortune or maybe because it's one it'll only work every so often it won't work all the time I don't know Ah, I'm disappointed let's see how many how many stone bricks I can make and you know what I think I'm gonna start I'm gonna make also another chest so I'm gonna make another double chest just just for building supplies because I really need another chest so I'm gonna put that there and I just threw all my iron but that's alright I'm gonna put it here pick up all my iron and let's see how much I have how many stacks of stone bricks I have not that much let's see if I can get a full row yes I have just over a full row I'm still really disappointed I'm gonna try breaking a few few blocks of grass and see if any one of them drops grass because at least one of them should but it doesn't seem like any of them are maybe the fortune for for grass only works on a shovel that's also probably likely but for some reason when I break stone it still drops uh, still drops cobble instead of stone and that's really what I'm shocked what shocked me so I'm gonna do three blocks and of stone and that's my test cobble 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 and it is 
fortune and I don't know why that's happening so I'm kind of pissed about that so if you could tell me why in the comments that would be great 